a lot of us who are preachers and pastors receive offerings from different people. Even when we know these people are scammers, I, I know a man, maybe he may be dead now, who had a brutal and he was paying tight to the offering. He had a brutal, they were prostitutes living there. This is someone who should be expelled from the church. But because he had money, nobody expelled him. God had no respect for Cain and his offering. And because of that, Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain. So Cain had this access to hear from God. Cain could hear from God. God spoke to Cain. God warned him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrath? You see the extent God could go. God saw the heart of Cain that Cain was angry and God had to speak to him. He warned him. Why are you angry? And why is thy countenance falling? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? Some of us think that God is an angry God and he just picks people because they are sinners and casts them into hell. Let me tell you, God has his own plan for every single human being in the world. For those of us who are in Christ, he does everything possible to protect us. Sometimes God makes provision for us when he knows that if we do not have provision, maybe financial provision, maybe protection, we could fall into temptation and get lost. He provides for us. A lot of times when we receive things from God, it is not because we merit them. But those blessings we receive could be as a result of security. They act as security. You know, the Bible says money is a defense. So that when we are secured, when we receive those blessings and we are secured, we don't fall for the enticement of the devil. But what do some people do sometimes? As soon as they receive those blessings, their hearts become swollen. Their head becomes stubborn. They become strong-headed and decide to do anything they like with the money, with the financial blessings, with the provision that God has given to them. God won Cain. Let's go back to the scripture. Verse 7. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. You better master him now. Sin lies at the door, waiting to take you away from me. This is how far God can go in securing the soul of the believer.